Hi guys. It is, what is it? Saturday? So weird. Not to be working and crafting on Saturday at 2.08. Usually if I'm off on a Saturday, I'm on a holiday, I'm at my mom's. And yes, if you're noticing, I have this, this came up while we were camping and it got all swollen right here. It's much better today. But let me tell you. All right. So obviously, you know, we came back from our camping trip early uh, because honey was sick. And <clears throat> I felt really bad for him. Um, he really wanted to go camping. He had been really looking forward to this. And so now we're home. And he had promised he was going to take it easy. And, um, yeah, not so much. Um, he slept until about 9.30, which, honestly, I didn't expect him to get up till noon. When He always texts me from the bedroom and says, Honey, is, er, yeah, honey, is coffee ready? And um, I went in there and I was like, Okay, so on a day when you have absolutely nothing you have to do and you're sick, you're awake at 9.30? Crazy. It's a crazy man. Look at this card. I'm making some cards for <clears throat> my new adventure with my cousin. And... Um, So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, that's what I'm doing today. Tomorrow, I got lots of vintage stuff and things planned. If you're into that, uh, definitely be sure you're subscribed to that channel. Um, anyway, it's thundering and lightning yesterday after we got home. Because uh, we got home, and it was hotter than a hoogie, googie, woogie, woogie. It was hot. And so much cooler in the mountains. But, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, then later, towards the evening, it started storming. And Honey was like, I want taste of Philly. I want a big Philly cheesesteak sandwich. So, being the two non uh, tech savvy people, we um, thought we figured out Grubhub and we got on there and um, I ordered the food and like almost a half an hour after we should have got the food, he was like, shouldn't the food be here by now? I was like, yeah, it should. So I went to go check the status, and then I had an issue signing on, and it took forever, and it was a big cluster, you know what. But the bottom line was, I had ordered the food for the wrong day. It was going to be coming today, instead of last night. And I'm trying to get this paper clip off of this, oh my God. I'm trying to get this paper clip off of here, and I can't do it. Uh, so, anyway, I told him that I would go get it. And he's like, oh, no, I don't want you to have to go get it. I was like, you want it. You're sick. I'm going to go get it. So, Taste of Philly was closing, and they were nice enough to go ahead and make the food. <laughs> so, I went and picked it up. And then we watched Tombstone. And um, we've seen it a hundred times. It's one of our favorite movies. And uh, so we watched Tombstone and then we went to bed. So this morning I slept till almost, almost seven, which is unusual for me. But I, I remember on the, the vlog video, I said it was like one of those nights was like the worst nights of my life. It was... I did not get any sleep, was terrible. 
Honey was coughing. The dog needed to go to the bathroom. And it was terrible. So I needed to catch up a little bit myself. So anyway, that's that. You guys had questions. And I probably sort of deliberately left you hanging. Sorry. Um... Oh, and I'm so happy because I actually sold some stuff on Facebook Marketplace um, today from the shop. I did some Facebook Marketplace shopping myself while I was, or while we were camping. Oh, no. He's turning on the television. I can hear it. I don't like hearing television when nobody's sitting there watching it and he loves hearing television all the time he just wants it on he says it makes it feel more homey i like it quiet i'm sure you can hear that it's very loud honey turn it down hey turn it down thank you okay Let's answer your questions. Let's discuss your comments. Kim Ross, Aussie Paper Crafter. Great vlog. It looks... I'm just trying to turn on and monitor the weather. Uh oh. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to take the cushions off the back couches. Why? And put them on Shane's car and then drape it. Okay. Okay. I just don't know what this is going to do. I'll be back of hours later and I'm going to answer your questions um, before I answer your questions I'm going to tell you he came in and invited me to go junkin tomorrow he's feeling better he thinks that the altitude was having something to do with it uh, we were at almost 10,000 feet um, at the campground we were at so um, But anyway, he invited me to go junkin. I was so excited. I am so excited. All right. Um, Kim Ross says, great vlog. It looks so tranquil and relaxing by the river and at the clear pond. Love the scenery on the drive up. I hope Alan is feeling better. The dogs are so cute in their 4th of July outfits. Enjoy the rest of your camping trip. Well, you know how that turned out, but we're happy to be home. We really are. Um, Barbara Harold, that sky is really full of clouds. What a beautiful drive. Those giant chickens are getting very popular. Wow, that water is flowing really fast. Looks like you had a very relaxing time and your hubby was feeling better. Happy 4th of July. Like I said, during the day, he was, he was pretty good. It was um, nighttime that was bad. Katie S., that temperature drop was amazing. Well, technically, by the time we actually got there, it had dropped 20 degrees from the city to there. It was about 70 miles, which is not very far at all. But it takes a lot longer through the windy, you know, mountains. Um, anyway, love seeing the snow on the mountains. I vaguely remember the place from last time. How did Rizzo and Shiva go in the contest? Okay. So when I went to the... Um, I went to the little town, which was just a, a stone's throw from the from the campground, and signed them up about two hours before the competition. And there was only one person who had signed in ahead of us. So I was like, oh no, is nobody going to show up? Well, it turns out everybody showed up last minute. And um, apparently there were a lot of locals there. And Honey said before it even started, he was like, the locals are going to win. And I was like, no. Well, there was no one entered in the patriotic competition that came even close to what our dogs had on. Um... But they didn't win. And I was 
I, I, I was shocked. And I had fun getting them all ready and making their costumes and dyeing Rizzo and all of that. Uh, but I was shocked. Anyway, they didn't win. So I had also entered Rizzo in Best Trick. And Rizzo can give me a high five and she can sit down and roll over. So he did that. And she got a lot of applause. But right at the end, a girl came in. Um, she had entered and her dog could like jump over her back and jump through her arms like this. And Honey and I just looked at each other and was like, sorry, Rizzo. You know, I think when it's like totally like a no brainer, then I, we get it. But the dog that beat us in Patriotic, and there was probably about 15 to 20 people entered. And the, the one that won, um, the dog had a Patriotic vest and a hat. That's what it had on. Anyway, Honey was like, well, you know, they had to give it to the locals and whatever. So anyway, that's how that went. And so when we were done there, we went right back to camp and um, just spent the rest of the afternoon, took a nap, took a shower, and that was that. So, oh, okay, back to the questions. I'm surprised at how well they behaved when they were inside the camper. When you were in bed. Oh yeah, when it's time to get in bed, she would just like stretches out and she is good to go. Stacy D says beautiful campground. Naomi West said beautiful scenery. Rizzo and Shiva looked so cute. Did Shiva behave herself? Okay, so at the competition, she did not. <laughs> she was wanting to bark at all the other dogs. And the thing was, there were a lot of dogs there. There was probably a total of a hundred dogs there, total. Not all of them were entered and stuff, but um, it was shocking to me how many people just let their dogs go up to other dogs without any rhyme or reason. I was just like, excuse me, I, I'm not sure she's going to like your dog, you know, and yeah, I was actually pretty surprised there weren't, at least that I'm aware of, any dog fights, so, I mean, dogs don't like their personal space invaded, and Shiva was, uh, you know, Honey would get her reined in and, and she would stop barking, but still. But still. All right. Joy McCoy. Rizzo and Shiva were strutting their stuff in their costumes. <laughs> I don't know if they were happy about them or just whatever. I don't know, but they tolerated those costumes really well. <laughs> so anyway. Um, Carla Keenan said interesting place to camp okay usually when somebody says something is interesting that means they don't really like it <laughs> uh, then she says your campsite looks so small well honey backed in in such a way that it blocked us from the little road that goes around the campground he didn't want that so if he'd have backed in straight our campground would have been bigger but because he backed in kind of sideways it made our area smaller and we liked that we liked that cozy feeling of kind of blocking us off from all the other campers and stuff so love the water so peaceful hope you're having fun Carla uh, Paula Hatton Vines, loved the campground. The river was flowing really fast. Loved the sound. It was a beautiful sound. It was really nice to open our windows and hear that and then just walk outside and it's right there. So, the girls looked so cute. You never said if they won. Have fun. Well, now you know the rest of the story. 
Heather Payne. Heather Payne. I don't recall you ever commenting before. She said, great vlog. The mountains are stunning. Your campsite seems very peaceful and relaxing. Your fur babies 4th of July costumes were so cute. Did they win? Your wedding picture is very beautiful. Thank you. You and your hubby's relationship is so sweet. You make a great team. Hope you have a wonderful time on the rest of your trip. That was very nice. And Heather, I am curious. Have you commented before? Uh, because I usually remember the names. And I am curious. So, next up is Amanda Wireman. Let me get this glued on here and I will read her comment. I am still working on cards, um, single fold cards to send to my cousin for our new venture in San Antonio. All right. That campground looks awesome. The doggies looked so good. Wonder how they did. Now you know. Me and my puppies are always waiting on my honey also. That was so funny. I was literally laughing out loud. Thanks for the smiles today and happy 4th. Thank you, Amanda. Lisa Murray, I love camping. You never said who won. I was kind of bummed and feeling kind of mad that day so I didn't really want to talk about it then I can do it now because I'm over it and it's just you know but I really did I really did think that we went there with it in the bag with Rizzo's hair dyed Debbie you'd say I noticed that the campgrounds don't have fire rings beside each trailer well Debbie they did and we were parked on top of it <laughs> because like I said, the way he backed in, and then we pulled the truck like this, so we had the river right running back here, the camper and the truck, and it was just like our little oasis. And I like that better than everybody parked like this, and you could see the, everybody's trailer next to you. I was just, I, I, honestly, I really like that spot. And uh, next time we go there, we'll definitely ask for that same spot. Uh, bird space. Uh, okay, so let's go to the next vlog. I'm sorry I look like this, but that's what, that's what happens when you're on staycation. <laughs> um, okay, Carla Keenan, so sorry your honey is still sick. I think it was smart to go home. You can always rest better at home. I kind of wish he had just stayed home in the first place, but it is what it is, and, you know... We spent two nights camping. <laughs> Kim Ross, sorry to hear you had to come home early as Alan is sick. Hope he feels better soon and does get some extra rest at home. He's not. Love the video of the river while you were driving back and the other sides of the trees. LOL. <laughs> that was funny, right? Amanda Weyerman, hope Honey feels better soon and that you guys still had some fun. I don't think Honey will listen about trying to rest either. You got it. But staycase is the best to me. LOL. Can't wait to see what you create with a little extra time. Well, I had big plans for tomorrow to do vintage stuff and things, but I guess we're going junkin', which sounds like fun, too. Allie Butler. Allie Butler. Are you another first-time commenter? I hope that your husband gets feeling better. How did you end up with Shiva? She looks like an adult dog. Um... She is an adult dog. Well, she's a year old. Just turned a year old. Oh, she's a year and two months old, something like that. And, um, she's kind of pain in the ass. She just requires a lot of, a lot of attention. And... Um, since I was the only one really able to give her that in the evenings and in the mornings, I wasn't enjoying myself because, you know, I had to take her for long walks. And I don't mind taking her for a walk. It's just I would have wanted my husband to go along with me. <laughs> and he just wasn't able to because of him being sick and stuff. So, anyway, Allie Butler, thank you for your comment. Lisa Van Gundy, my cousin, my cousin that I'm going into business with in San Antonio says, cousin, so sorry you had to cut your vacation short, but I believe you made the right decision. Wow, that river is beautiful on the ride back home. 
I also really like your campgrounds. Now let's hope Honey gets better and that you don't get what he has. Thanks for taking us along. Love you. I was really thinking I was going to come down with what he has because our bed in the in the camper um, it has these sliding doors that you slide shut and then you can see that there's a TV on the inside. So it's like you're like a little home theater in there and we would close those at night to keep the dogs out on the other side and he would cough and 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 there I am in this little cocoon with him and I'm amazed I'm not sick already so we'll hope I don't get sick. Dana Kay, aw, so sorry your honey is still sick. That nighttime coughing is exactly why I quit smoking. Gets worse every year with age. Thank you for the beautiful tour. I just love it there. I hope you have a relaxing rest of the weekend. Well, it's 421 right now, and I have been working on these cards all day. Um, these are single fold cards that will be sold in the booth at the Craftique Mall. Um, and I already have a ton to send, but I want that thing full. So, I prepped all of these before I left with paper and um, images. And then when I came home today, I have just been doing um, embellishing. So, these are done. How many are there? One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I have this pile that so far is ready. And I have about five more to do with the black card base. And then... I'm done. So that was my goal to get done today. Tonight, I'm going to start writing price tags. Yes, Lisa, tonight I'm going to start doing my price tags. And um, then I will get three boxes out to her on Monday. So, Lisa, three boxes going out on Monday. Tuesday at the very latest. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, Debbie Graffius, I miss the mountain streams. When I lived in Aurora, we used to go up to the mountains all the time. Sometimes we'd play in the water. Lots of fun. And I'm sure very cold because all of that water is what's up in the mountains. The snow, as it's melting, comes down. And that's what it is. So it's very cold. <laughs> um, Naomi West, no place like home when you're feeling ill. Hope honey feels better soon. So there you go. Those are the comments. And I'm hoping to find some good places to hang out tomorrow for Junkin. We'll see how that goes. And we'll talk to you guys later. I will look better next time. I swear. Bye. Oh, I thought you were going to take me to the backyard and show me something. Show you something out front. Oh, okay, guess we're going out front. First. And he asked me if he should feel guilty. About just taking a shower, getting his pajamas, and going, laying down. I was like, no, that was the idea of coming home. It was not to work. How can this last be done? No, it doesn't. Not when you're supposed to be camping and nothing would be getting done while you were camping. Oh, my God. Come here. Did you see the neighbors? They put up a table and an umbrella. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> okay. Tell me what you're going to show me. <laughs> oh, you did power wash the rocks. Ooh, look at that muck at the Man, bottom. I need to know how to get rid of that. I don't know, but it looks a lot better. That's gross. Pour some bleach on it? I'm going to put some in there and see what happens. It stinks. It looks a lot better. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was black. The rocks were black. 
Oh my gosh, we have to take a we have to take a walk. Come with us. We're gonna take a walk. Where are we going? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Look how how this is coming up with the this kind of looks like that in a little bit in a way. You need to cut that one off. That's irritating. Yeah, yesterday it was it was up, but I guess it's getting really heavy. It's like a kid that doesn't want to get a job or do anything. That's a what do you? Karen. <gasps> yeah, this one's all curvy, and look at this one. This one's straight. And then we got these over here. Oh, look at our girl. <laughs> Okay, so look at these over here. They are gorgeous and gigantic. Look how gigantic this one is. Honey, look how gigantic this one is. <laughs> and the bees love it. backyard with my husband who won't stop working he fussed at me earlier for vlogging too much oh well like that anymore now I look like this <laughs> it is Saturday night it is oh eight o'clock straight up and honey's in the shower he has been feeling better today although he's still coughing and you know and that he slept better last night than he had up at camping and now things are changed because the place where we were gonna go look for um, junk is going to be too difficult to get home because tomorrow everybody's going to be heading home from camping and therefore it will be crazy, crazy town um, on the roadways. So I told them that while I was in the shower, I thought of that and so... Now we're not going to do that. At least I told them if we do, we need to do closer to home. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm still working on these cards while he's in the shower. And I just thought I would come back and let you see me with my wet hair. Um, it was a nice day. He did a lot more than he should have. But that's just the kind of man that he is. And I love him. And that's just the way it is. So I'm going to go because I want to focus on these. I don't have very long while he's in the shower. And I want to get a little bit done so that I can start something new in the morning. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Just a quick video to tell you I got sick. Really sick. All we did yesterday was go to the urgent care <clears throat> and get me medicine. So, that's this vlog. <laughs> Camping, 4th of July week. See you later. Bye.